Take another look, Scott star San Huin has backed a road safety campaign. Take another look following the death of three men who were involved in road traffic collisions on Scotland's roads. The Outlander star, who plays Jamie Fraser on the show, took to Instagram in a bid to raise awareness, encouraging fans to sign the campaign. Sharing a snap of himself on a motorcycle, he wrote, Please sign our call for a new road safety campaign. Hashtag take another look in Scotland. It's time to change the narrative and perception of hashtag motorcyclists. The campaign aims to increase motorists' awareness of motorcycles through education and raise road safety overall. The, a keen motorcyclist, is calling for a tougher approach in court urging people to sign a petition calling on the Scottish government to launch a campaign asking drivers to take another look at junctions. He penned Tracy Marsh, Maureen Rutherford, and Jacqueline Dixon tragically lost their husbands in road traffic collisions on Scotland's roads. All three men were experienced motorcyclists, but their lives were cut short because a motorist failed to take another look at a junction. These were cases of carelessness, according to the courts, which subsequently convicted the drivers. Tracy, Maureen, and Jacqueline have now launched a campaign to urge drivers to look again at every junction, and I am backing them all the way. As a motorcyclist, I know that their experience is repeated time and time again. Evidence from both criminal and civil proceedings shows that many motorcyclists have met similar fates or suffered life-changing injuries because of motorists' negligence. Despite this, the Scottish government continues to put the emphasis on improving rider behavior at the exclusion of all else. Sam added, according to Transport Scotland's reported road casualties 2022 report, there were 467 motorcycle casualties, including 25 fatalities that year an increase of 2% on 2021. It is evident that more needs to be done if the Scottish government is to meet its own target of reducing motorcycle casualty numbers by 30% by 2030. And on behalf of the motorcycling community, I want to see a shift towards reminding motorists of their role and responsibility towards vulnerable road users. It's time the narrative and perception of motorcyclists changed. Outlander star Sam Hughen has accused the Scottish government of not doing enough to protect motorcyclists on the country's roads. He is calling for a tougher approach in the courts and a new awareness campaign for drivers. The actor is backing a plea by three grieving women for a national road safety campaign to increase motorists' awareness of motorcyclists in a bid to cut the number of fatal collisions. It follows the death of biker John Marsh, 48, who was killed in a crash on the B961 near Monarchy in Angus in November 2022. School teacher Angela Addis was ordered to carry out 140 hours of unpaid work in December after admitting causing Mr. Marsh's death by careless driving. John's widow, Tracy Marsh, condemned the sentence, saying it did not act as a deterrent. She has now teamed up with Maureen Rutherford and Jacqueline Dixon, whose partners also died after their motorcycles were struck by cars, to call for change. Huyen, a keen motorcyclist, said current initiatives were unfairly focused on the behavior of bikers rather than car drivers. He urged people to sign a petition calling on the Scottish government to launch a campaign asking drivers to take another look at junctions he said, Tracy Marsh, Maureen Rutherford, and Jacqueline Dixon tragically lost their husbands in road traffic collisions on Scotland's roads. All three men were experienced motorcyclists, but their lives were cut short because a motorist failed to take another look at a junction. These were cases of carelessness according to the courts which subsequently convicted the drivers. Tracy, Maureen, and Jacqueline have now launched a campaign to urge drivers to look again at every junction, and I am backing them all the way. As a motorcyclist, I know that their experience is repeated time and time again. Evidence from both criminal and civil proceedings shows that many motorcyclists have met similar fates 
or suffered life-changing injuries because of motorists' negligence. Despite this, the Scottish government continues to put the emphasis on improving rider behavior at the exclusion of all else. We've heard of Sam Hughan playing the role of Batman in a stage production, and we've heard all the rumors of him potentially playing James Bond. But have you ever heard of how he tried to get a role in HBO's Game of Thrones? Seven times? That was a new revelation for me, and to be honest, I am not that surprised. If you have been following Hewbin's career, you are aware of how relentlessly he goes after roles, and how much of his heart and soul he puts into any job he has, or wants to have. So what roles did Hewbin try out for? And can we imagine him actually playing a role in the fantastical world created by George R. R. Martin? Here's everything we know I auditioned for Renly, Loras, and some of the members of the Night's Watch. And I'd always get so close. I'd be like, guys, just give me a sword. Hugin told Vanity Fair. If I had to think of Hugin playing Renly, I have to say I could actually see it. Nothing against Gethin Anthony, who actually played the role of Renly fabulously, but Hewin would have excelled as a would-be Barathan king. Can't you imagine Hewin as Renly gathering and leading an army of 100,000 men? I sure can, but when all is said and done, I think Hewin's role as Jamie Fraser on Outlander was ultimately the better debut role for him. It has been the absolutely perfect character for him to play plus. Both Renly and Loras did not have a long stint on Game of Thrones, and had he played either of those roles, we wouldn't have witnessed his star rise in the way it has. All these years later, <laughs> Hewin continues to play the role of a lifetime, and I think even when the series comes to a close, he will always be remembered for playing Jamie Fraser. While we will never know what Sam Hewin's time on Game of Thrones may have looked like, we do have one and a half more seasons left of Outlander to look forward to. The series will be coming to a close after its eighth and final season, which means our time with Hugh in, in the role that changed his life is ending soon. And in the meantime, imagine what Hugh in would have looked like as Renly and Loras. Him with a sword and up against the mountain during seasons one epic tournament? Yes, please. <laughs>